Hey guys, today I wanted to go over kind of one of the biggest kind of requests slash questions I get from my Bypass Circle video, and it's how do I get the right MAC address for doing this command that you taught us how to do? Um, first things first, you're going to need this file. This file is available from my website, link in the description of where to get it. So use that to run this so that you can see what's going on. Um, so we got to open the command prompt again. So push start, type CMD, right click, run as administrator. It's going to ask you if you want to let it make changes, click yes. So again, download, download this file from my website, put it in your C drive, right in the C folder. Open command prompt. So now we're in here and we need to change the directory. So we're pulling from the C drive. So CD, change directory in quotes c colon forward slash so now we're in the c drive if we do arp dash a it's going to tell us that hey doesn't help us we're being restricted we want to unrestrict ourselves so with that program you downloaded you can run this command so that you can get the mac address of the router so we're going to do arp dash ping we're going to do the IP address of the router, which is right here. And then we're going to do dash D dash T. So what this is going to do is it's going to reach out to this address, this IP address, to get the MAC address. So we can continue to let this run forever. Uh, eventually, you're going to see the address come up for the circle. Um, but we don't need to, so we can go ahead and click Control C. So this is the MAC address that we need to use for the command that I taught you how to do. This is the circle's MAC address. This is your router's MAC address. So here, again, we can run the ARP A and see, yes, the circle is still doing its job. So we can run the net sh dash C interface IPv4 and then add neighbor with an S add neighbors and then the interface name which honestly I told you Wi-Fi in the last one because that's the name of mine I found out that it doesn't really matter um, so you can just put Ethernet and then you need to put the IP address of the router and then you need to put the MAC address so in this case we're gonna pull it from right here and just type it down here. So it is the 0, 0, 0, 001. Close it. And then store equals persistent. Enter. I've run the command before, so it knows that the object is there. But now, if we do ARP A, we're going to see that this is now permanent. So you can see that because it says static. Before it was dynamic, it was dynamically writing the address to talk to. Now it's permanent. To undo it, ARP D, which delete. Then we can do ARP A again. We're going to have to wait a second. There you go. Very simple to do, and this should help you successfully run the command. Download that thing from my website. It'll help you do it. There you go. Don't forget to subscribe to this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.